Exotic car owners. Normal car owners. Exotic car owners. Normal car owners. Here's the truth. Exotic car enthusiasts are just like you and me. Only they have much, much better toys. Exotic cars. Toys for grown -ups. of name reverberating across the glossy asphalt of the supercar realm, there's a man, simply known as Mo, a maestro of machines and a connoisseur of combustions. He is not just a man, but a movement. At the helm of Motec Eurobooks, a sanctuary where exotic supercars metamorph into street-legal Tomahawk cruise missiles. Mo is not merely in the driver's seat, he's at the vanguard of a revolution. Long time no see. Good, sir. How are you? Oh, I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. So, just for our audience, you can tell them who you are. My name is Mo. Well, Mo, what is this uh, unbelievable sweetness that you got sitting here? This is my beautiful McLaren 765 LT. 765 LT. So, what does that stand for? So, the LT is short for long tail. Um, most McLarens have an S at the end of the number. The number represents the amount of power it has, and the uh, digit is for sport. For example, 570S is a 570 Sport with 570 horsepower. This is a 765 LT, so stock, it comes with 765 horsepower, and the LT is because it's a long tail. Long tail, yeah, that's the, always their, their top of the line, is yes, always sir. the long tails. Yes. So, you know, what's, what kind of horsepower are you looking at on a car like this? So, 765 from the factory, but we did a bunch of upgrades and modifications to this. We've done exhaust, fueling upgrades, all that kind of stuff. Oh, man, so what you're saying is you actually drive this car. Yes, sir. I drive it every single day. That's awesome. So, how many miles you got on this bad 30, boy? 30,000 miles. Oh, wow. And so counting. Oh, yeah. Any of those you make uh, make your way to Route 66, the old oh, yeah. famous road? Yeah, yeah. We've taken Up in the mountains and all that? Yes, sir. Yeah, I can imagine how awesome that'd be. So, um, you've done some mods. What, what, how much horsepower does that have to your so car? So, we just had a dyno at the end of last week, and it's pushing about 1,000 horsepower. 1,000 horsepower. Man, I can't even imagine how... How you could get that power to the ground with a car that's just lightweight. Yes, sir, 2,800 pounds. So how do you manage to pull that off? Use so, suspension mods or anything so, like that? No, or? the suspension on this car comes perfect. You don't perfect. want to mess with that. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously the advantage of having the engine on, you know, in, in the, the mid and yep. puts the weight on the wheels, so that helps. But, exactly. but still, I mean, you're talking, what, another almost 330 horsepower more? I mean, how do you yes, get sir. that power to the ground? So this car has uh, Toyo Archibald A Proxy tires on there, which are probably the best tires on the market, in my opinion. With the factory tires this thing comes with, it's very hard to grip the road when the car is stock, let alone with all the added power. So with these tires, when they warm up, they grip really well. So it's almost like a, a street legal uh, race tire with just a little bit of tread on it. Absolutely. So I'm gonna tell you a couple of things to help differentiate this model between the 720S, they're very similar. So with the 765, we'll start in the front, they put carbon fiber fins right here in the fender. And uh, most 720s don't have this unless it was purchased aftermarket. So what oh. these do here is they help direct air through the fins and it creates a downforce on the front end of the vehicle. And also we have the intercoolers here in the front, it gets cooled down as well. It's awesome, and that exposed uh, carbon, carbon fiber, fiber just yes, looks sir. absolutely stunning. Yeah, most 765s did not come with this, but on this car we have the MSO fully exposed carbon fiber front bumper fenders and rear bumper and rear loafers. So in the front splitter, is that uh, uh, a little bit different than the 720 as well? Yes, sir. So the 720 uh, front splitter is not as curved as this one. It's more straight. What they did with this car is they completely made it aerodynamic bumper to bumper. So obviously they increased the downforce. Yes, sir. And then coming along the side of it right here. The 720s did not uh, come with side skirts unless it was added on at the factory. Um, all the 765s come with them. 
and uh, on this car here they are painted palladium gray but they're carbon fiber underneath the paint. Oh, that's awesome. So there's yep. more and more carbon fiber yes, all over the place. And towards and the, the rear. Course, of course, the rear yeah. is covered in carbon fiber. So we have the rear bumper made out of exposed carbon fiber, the rear side loafers. Um, the 720s did not have this. The rear diffuser is carbon it's a fiber. Massive diffuser. Yes, sir. Well, and so also I'm seeing two extra tailpipes here. Yes, sir. So the 720s, they come with two single exhaust pipes. On the 765s, all of them come with a quad tip. Yeah, that is quite amazing. And so now this this long tail wing here. So it's a little bit longer than the 720 and it's an active arrow. So basically oh, okay. as you're driving, whenever you're pushing down on the gas pedal, it goes down to help uh, smoother acceleration. And as you're braking, it acts like a parachute. It'll fly off oh, and help you slow down. It's awesome, like a drag car yeah, parachute. Sure. That's pretty neat. Another neat thing this car has is the MSO rear roof scoop. So a lot of 765s did not come with this. This was a very, very expensive add-on. Um, this does a couple different things here. So first, it gives you a window to view the engine bay because most engine bays are completely sealed off. McLaren doesn't want you touching it, poking at it, looking at it. I can uh, imagine that. But with this window, we're able to see some of it down there. And then the secondly, it does uh, allows air to go through the roof scoop. So performance-wise, all these, you know, stock performance and, and modified, have you, have you looked at any of the figures to see where things are at? So stock, this car comes uh, 0 to 16, about 2.7 seconds. I have not uh, tested it yet since we put the upgrades, but if I had to say uh, with some good drag radials on there, I'll probably have somewhere around maybe 2.2, 2.3. Um, in a quarter mile from the factory, they do just a little over nine seconds. And this car has been to the track and has seen about 8.8. .8. And that is before we did the fuel system. So we're looking forward to taking it back here in a couple weeks and even beating that number. So how do you even get in, the, in this thing? I don't see any door handles So anywhere. for some reason, McLaren, since their first uh, street legal car that they brought back in early 2010, 2011 was an MP412C, they didn't have any exterior door handles. The way you would open this car would wave your hand and it would just pop open. So that was very like problematic. Sensor. That's yes, cool. that was very problematic. They got away from that because uh, it had a lot of issues. If your battery died, something happened, you couldn't access the car. So what they did with the newer models, they just tucked away the, the door latch. So, so on this car here, you just tuck your hand in there and there's a button you push. Oh, that's awesome. Open. And it still retained the way the doors opened up, vertical doors. Yes, sir. So um, interior wise, um, what are some of the changes that, uh, that that you've made to this car and that, that came with the 765 so LT? I, I haven't really done any changes. The car, I think, in my opinion, comes pretty much perfect. In the 720s, most of the uh, seats were comfort seats. They were made out of suede and leather combination. Uh, and the 765s, a lot of them came with the Senna seats. The McLaren Senna seats, they are very expensive. It was a $60,000 add-on. Um, and they are made out of carbon fiber fully. So they weigh almost nothing and they are very uncomfortable, um, but they are very good for racing and trying to save time on the track and everything. Oh wait, and look, safe. I, I'm seeing, it must be a Mirage. Uh, is that a cup holder actually I've seen There's a cup holder. I mean, it looks like yes. you've got, you're actually using a cup holder. I use a cup holder all the time. Wow, there's actually a cup holder that's super exotic. Yes, sir. So uh, another, how many cup holders does it have? It's got uh, two. One, two, only one of them is really usable. Okay, so the other one's kind of almost usable. Yeah. Yep. Well, that's a pretty cool one. So another neat thing they have is uh, this car specifically came with the racing harness and a titanium roll cage bar in the back. Oh, so yeah. So allows for more safety when you're on the track. Yeah, Make sure neat. you're buckled up yeah, pretty well. Can, and the cool thing is you can see the engine, you know, even through from the inside. Yes, sir. Exactly what car can you actually just turn your head around? Yes, sir. And then there's the engine. Oh, yes. And then uh, what's nice about the 720 and the 765 is that the instrument cluster, depending on the track mode, comfort mode, whatever mode you're in, will fold in and out. So when you're in track mode, the instrument cluster only shows you the, how fast you're going and uh, coolant temp and stuff like this. So you know, just the bare basics yes, so you're exactly. not distracted. Exactly. That's awesome. And so, and then you know, it pulls down the other way, you just got, you know, like all the crazy information you normally don't need that's just really cool exactly. to look at. Yes, sir. Awesome. Starting the car, just typical push button start, yes sir.
to ExoticCards.com. Our website makes it easy. With just a few clicks, dive into our extensive collection of OEM exotic carbon fiber car parts. Whether you're boosting your speed demon or repairing it after a race day mishap, our unique high quality OEM parts are designed to get you back on the track in no time. From Lamborghinis to Ferraris, we've got the rocket to fit your pocket. ExoticCars.com, your fast track to getting back in the race. Visit us now and keep your passion for speed alive.